so what i haven't seen you in months how's everything been going we were just watching the podcast earlier on youtube oh really mm -hmm. yeah dude i haven't been nothing just grinding dude i see you've been all over the world mm -hmm. like a rock star what kind of car is this this is cool it's a fucking uh jeep uh, gladiator a yes. jeep gladiator yeah just the russell crow of jeeps hell yeah it is bro this is where they uh film the movie casino okay and they have the famous scene where uh Joe Pesci is in, on the golf course. Robert De Niro is in his backyard of his house. Okay. And um, the FBI is following Joe Pesci and they run out of gas and they have to land their airplane on the golf course and they actually have that airplane on this golf course. So they're gonna redo the exterior, the facade? or uh, they just Not the facade, they're doing the, in, the interior now and then the pool in the back. I'm going to my unit 27E for five minutes. All right. Damn, Bruce got it locked down like that. No one wants chaos. <laughs> Matter of fact, Rich, where are we at right now? We're at Las Vegas Country Club, Regency Towers. And what's the history about this place? Uh, this was the old school. Everyone famous in Vegas lived here, including the movie Casino was filmed here. And this was the first high rise too, right? First high rise in Vegas. Yes, we're, filming, we're filming upstairs. Yep. Yeah. Got masks. Oh, masks. Sorry about that. Just on the elevator. Got it. Ma'am, do you have an extra mask? Okay. I just hold it like this. Okay. <laughs> you see all the stuff we're doing? <laughs> all this for YouTube content. So these are only elevators that take you up to the unit? This, I would wish I could take this off. This is the freight elevator. Okay. Uh, which, this is my second unit in here that I uh, own. Okay. So in that freight elevator, uh -huh. you can take the top off the elevator and uh, bring things up that are, you know, 12 feet tall. Oh, you know, sorry. I have that giraffe. So I'm bringing my giraffe up here. Oh, are you moving here? Yeah, I'm moving in here. Okay, so you're rehabbing the move in here. Yeah. Oh, I thought you guys were flipping this thing, dude. Uh, I'm going to live here for two years as my residence. This way I get my $250,000 tax credit. Mm -hmm. I don't have to pay uh, taxes for $250,000 profit. And then on two years and one day, I'll sell it. There you go. Because that's what you did with the other place in uh, McDonald Highlands, right? Yeah. We're going up. <laughs> We're all the way up. I got so many keys, I'm like a janitor. Dude, so are they, are they redoing all this stuff too, or what? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to modernize it? Yes. We didn't get to see... Yo. They already started... <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** is this, dog? <laughs> this is some gangsta right here. Hello. <laughs> Rich, you gotta leave this door, dog. <laughs> Do not change this door. But somehow I just knew this is his house. <laughs> Damn, son. So nobody takes it to this level. It's like Liberace doors right here. Hell yeah. So how many uh, square feet is this? Uh, it's 1886, just under 2,000 square feet. But uh, this is one of the only units uh -huh. where we were allowed to raise the ceilings. Okay. So in the lower, anything lower than this, the, the ceiling is this high. Okay. And they don't have recessed lighting. They mm -hmm. have track lighting or lamps. Yeah. So the lighting is garbage. Okay. And so uh, I, when I heard that this uh, was coming on the market, it was actually, I shouldn't even say this, but I'm gonna tell you because I love you. I appreciate that. Is, uh, this person died. In here? <laughs> no. <laughs> they died in the hospital. Okay. And I shouldn't be laughing, but uh, whatever. Yeah. And uh, 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 a person that I know knew the trust, and they were like, hey, you could steal this unit. Yeah. It's going to be worth a million bucks. You could buy it for 275000 So wait, I was wait, like, wait, wait. You got this for 250000 <laughs> yeah. 275 So I was like, cool. I'll have you uh, check uh, by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And so I brought a check. I bought the unit. And then I cleared everything out. And so a uh, really interesting thing is there's only one unit on the whole tower above this. Yeah. And it was also owned by a super famous person. And uh, that's the access to his unit. Oh. <laughs> so we didn't know it was even there until we demoed everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to uh, lock that off so uh, no Ooh, one... Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your plans for this thing? Okay, so if you could see it's, uh, I'll drop down, uh, I'll send you the link to the renderings. Okay, cool. So you could drop it in the video. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so here's the deal. Oh, careful here. So this is all being demoed. 
okay? Yeah. And when you walk in the door, so these units, no one demos them like this to a shell. They just do like uh, paint carpet type of rehab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, that's not my style. I want to go, mm -hmm. I, I want, when someone walks in here, I want them to be like, is Rich from the future? You know? Oh, so damn. when you walk in this door, right here is the, you can see the lines right here. Right okay. here is the powder room, okay? And it has a shower over there. And the whole thing is gonna be black glass. Damn. And there's gonna be no handle on the outside. You push it and the door opens to get into the room. It's just super minimalist. Nice. Then when you walk in here, uh, it's all black um, marble. Mm -hmm. And you have the, va again, this is gonna be gone. So yeah, you'll yeah. have the vanity here, the shower there, right? This right here, uh, linear, um, vertical, okay. is gonna be a wall of LED. So I could have like a fireplace going or a sharks going back and forth or a Dude, movie plank or whatever. And then I have a floating toilet right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's this powder room shower for the guests. Right this way. Man, we walking in here like this is a real bathroom and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like walk back up this way. <laughs> yeah, so here's the washer and dryer. Okay. And then when you walk in right here, this, uh, and as you could see the walls right here, okay. Mm -hmm. Right there. So this area is a uh, a movie theater. Oh, technically, technically, it will legally be, be a, um, a, a bedroom. third bedroom okay. because um, in order to have a bedroom, uh, you have to have a window yeah. and a closet. So I'm having um, a horizontal window put at the very top okay. so I can uh, ensure that the legality of that. And so uh, a window at the top, there'll be a closet on that wall. And then on this wall right here is a fully immersive movie theater. The entire wall is LED and it wraps around the corner. Oh, so from shit. floor to ceiling, it's LED. Yeah. So when you're sitting here on the couch, we're like, yo, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in it. I'm in Top Gun. <laughs> 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 so if we walk back through here. All right, let's walk through the movie theater. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is the kitchen. And again, I'll drop down the, I'll send you yeah, the yeah, renderings. Yeah. So this is the kitchen and uh, the kitchen goes, so there's only um, two doors in the entire uh, place. It's the door to the movie theater, just okay. to keep it uh, soundproof. Yeah. And the door to the powder room. Uh, so you have, so someone has privacy. Other than that, the wall to the kitchen ends here and you go in this room right here. Okay. When you walk in this room, uh, you have a, uh, a uh, bed here overlooking the entire strip in the golf course. Damn, this is a dope view, dude. Right? And then you have a wardrobe here. Mm -hmm. Now, people that live in this unit and uh, people that are buying these type of units, a lot of them are retired. So they don't have kids. They don't need a second bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this bedroom, uh, technically, we're going to utilize as an office, mm -hmm. but we're going to have a bed in case their children or guests come to visit. That's cool. So they will have a bed there. And then there's a wardrobe here. And then right here is a desk, so you could work at the desk. And in the wardrobe actually is a refrigerator also. So this room acts almost like a hotel room at the Wynn. Yeah. So you put in like a Murphy bed or is it just a bed going here? It will be, it will be a bed, um, but it will be a bed that can also be utilized as like a couch or okay. sitting room or whatever. So, and then the entire, um, it's a 90 foot balcony. The entire thing is black marble. Okay. The wood, uh, the there's zero carpet in this unit. It will be all black wood. All of this is being taken out now. So one thing that's difficult, and that's a good question. One thing that's difficult about having the 27th floor mm -hmm. is that um, we affect all of the units beneath us. Mm. So where it would take three months to renovate a unit on the third floor, it's gonna take me nine months to renovate this because if I, the plumbing goes all the way down, so when I have to do the plumbing in this building, mm -hmm. in this unit, they have to shut down the plumbing for all the floors beneath me. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to give them a notice, and obviously you got to have to get somebody in here that knows what the hell they're doing then. Yeah, HOA approval, notices, permits, everything. So what, what about all this space up here? You could walk up there, but then you would die. Got it. Let me tell you why. You know <laughs> <laughs> because if you, uh, you can't see it from here. <laughs> I mean, unless you do want to die, I don't know, that's on you. But uh, that 
actually goes beyond the balcony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And so, yeah, you don't want to fall through that ceiling right there. So, yeah, we'll be drywalled where this uh, concrete is. Okay. I don't know, Rich. <laughs> we, we talking, but my eyes are looking at this fucking bling bling shit. Look at this fucking earring, dog. <laughs> Look at that. You're lucky I'm not wearing my watch and my oh, necklace. Oh, <laughs> damn. And so right here, right here is the uh, refrigerator um, freezer. Okay. So what happened is originally I picked Mila, which is top of the line, unbelievable um, appliances. appliances. Yeah. And then I found the company that actually builds Mila from Europe, right? Oh, and you went directly to them? Yeah, I went directly to them and they have a line, which is the exact same thing, but they only sell it to hospitals. Why? And, I don't know. <laughs> so I got a license to buy them okay. from that. And so I saved like $20,000 on buying the appliances from them. Damn. So it was a total home run on that one. <laughs> Man, this is pretty high, dude. Yeah, I don't even like going out here and scare. <laughs> I, I was like, going to put chains on them. It's funny because where I live now are at City Center. Yeah. When you walk in first and you see my view, like you're right on top of the strip. Yeah. And then at first you're like, oh, this is cool. But after living in there for a little while, it's like um, all it's the lights cool, in your, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So right here you have the whole view, but you're not like on top of it. Yeah, you just feel more open here, dude. I like this. It doesn't even look real, does it? No, it looks fake. You gonna leave these doors or no? Actually I am. <laughs> they're, they're pretty dope, dude. Right? As soon as I seen them, I was like, this is rich right here. Yeah, I already knew this was his house. <laughs> Hello. After you. We'll take the next one. Okay. Everyone in here is nice. Well, except for the security. <laughs> Everybody's a little bit older here though, huh? Yeah, can you imagine what's gonna happen when I burn this building down? <laughs> <laughs> I rehabbed uh, the unit 26. Mm -hmm. I broke every record, sales record in this building. Did you really? And so when this one is done, I'm gonna like Would you double that one for? I, just about 500. And I bought that for 200. What do you think? You know that I just sold Third Street. You did? The one that you said wasn't worth that? You know, you know what's so funny? <laughs> I, I was just looking at that the other day. I'm like, this is still in the MLS. So basically, what happened was uh, there was a property, and this is how I met up with Rich. There was a property, I think it was what, eight units? 12 units. 12 units completely rehabbed for 2 million, and this was probably about what, a year ago? Yeah. And I was like, I was on a show, right? With the, the podcast, and I was like, this guy, whoever owns this, is not gonna sell this <laughs> for two million. And I got an email one day, and it was rich. And you know how rich is, right? He's like, you know who you <laughs> with, dog? <laughs> Talk <laughs> about my. Shit. I was like, shit, my bad. Uh, would you like to be on our radio show? <laughs> After that, we became friends. Yep. And you actually sold that shit for two million. For two million twenty thousand. Damn. You know the one next door? I put an offer for eight hundred thousand. Really. Yeah. Got rejected, but it went under contract for 1.4. You know what I'm talking about, right? The one right next door where it has like those uh, seven units. It's like duplex, duplex, yeah, yeah, yeah. duplex well, in a house. That was just still a good deal. I, that's just what for I was the land. thinking, yeah. I would have bought it and then put modular homes on there. Yeah. Have you heard of that boxable? Yeah. That's we what actually, I would put uh, on there. We did a couple of videos. Did you tour videos. them? Yeah, yeah. We did a couple of videos with them. Matter of fact, we got to go back. All right, I'll meet you. You could go out this way. Okay, cool. Perfect. Oh, did he leave? So he's in the back building. Oh, okay. Dude, there was so much uh, content. I know. That we, which is really good content. So we might have to make it episode two.